Okay, so it pains me to say this as an Apple fanboy, but the iPhone 13 Pro Max just isn't cutting it for me, and so I'm going to be returning it, and this video is basically going to be in conversation candidly with you about the reasons why I'll be giving up the iPhone 13 Pro Max and what I'm, uh, well, technically downgrading to. So you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss as we cover your favorite tech and video games. I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Granny Geek Show. All right, so let's start with some background, some history. I was coming from the iPhone 11 Pro Max, okay? I had a 256 gig, uh, fantastic, powerful, fast, even beautiful phone. Sure, it doesn't have the flat edge that the new uh, iPhone 12 and later have, but it was still very aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. Stainless steel, glass sandwich, all that kind of stuff, triple lens camera, it, it was the works. And performance was incredible. And we're gonna talk about the bottleneck of iOS is that really is the thing that makes the 11 Pro Max to the 13 Pro Max not that much of a difference besides hardware tweaks and stuff like that. So, um, you know, upgrade time came and, you know, after that two year cycle, it's like, all right, well, I don't want to lose my investment, right? It's basically a free phone. Um, you know, when you upgrade, they give you a ton of money, especially AT&T and companies like that. If you want to go with a service provider, they'll give you a lot of money um, when you trade in your phone, your iPhone, because iPhones hold their value so well. And the longer you wait, the less the less money you're going to get back for your phone. So I was like, all right, it's time to upgrade. The 12 didn't really convince me to upgrade. It had the new aesthetic design, which I was like, oh, but when you looked past the aesthetics, um, I, I didn't think there were any real usable features that I would need for an upgrade. But it was also before I was even doing Geek Show that seriously. And so I was like, eh, whatever. But with the 13 Pro Max and with the Granted Geek Show being what it is today, I was like, I, I need to upgrade. So uh, some of the headline features, 120 hertz refresh rate display. And I already had 120 hertz on my iPad Pro from 2018. I even had the M1, got rid of that too, for much the same reason. We'll get into it in a minute. But it also has uh, cameras that capture 47% more light. Now this is a noticeable difference. These cameras are fantastic. And I did a video just reviewing all the footage from it and, and all that kind of stuff. So links to all the goodies will be down in the description below. Uh, but the cameras are insane and there's no arguing that, okay? Um, and the processor inside is beefy enough to handle the footage that can come out of this thing. Plus, you're getting up to 4K ProRes on this thing. An incredible video codec, uh, which is great for editing. It's dense with information, which makes it a uh, really quality video but uh, they're just hardware upgrades. And I think the biggest upgrade that needs to come to the iPhone is software. And it's been the problem with the iPad and it's really the, the problem of the iPhone as well. iOS is becoming a baby watered down software. There aren't a lot of power hungry things that you could be doing with iPhone where you need that A15. I mean, you need that A15 Bionic chip. You know, you just don't. Um, for what I use the iPhone for, web browsing, some light to moderately heavy video gaming, uh, YouTube watching in 4K, Netflix streaming, texting, that kind of stuff. Um, even sometimes video editing in LumaFusion, right? So sometimes I'll edit and stuff like that and export. Um, it's iOS is the bottleneck. I mean, I have the 2018 iPad Pro. This video that you're watching now was edited on it and I exported it easily because I've done this before. And the export takes like five minutes, five minutes on Apple Silicon on the 2018 iPad Pro. And that's all in uh, 120 Hertz uh, refresh rate, beautiful screen. Um, so it's it's there's just not a lot to see the difference in yeah so i got the iphone uh, 12 pro max that's what i'm downgrading to versus the iphone 13 pro max oh can you see the difference barely i mean you can see that the uh, cameras are goofy big um on the 13 pro max and that's it can let in more light it's a beautiful camera um the, as where the 12 pro max has the smaller cameras but there is a big um weight difference okay you can just tell also the golds are different I like the gold on the 13 Pro Max more. Let's see if we can get this to autofocus. I like the gold on the 13 Pro Max more for sure. Oh boy, looks like it's struggling. Yeah, uh, because it's more yellow and brownish versus it seemed like with the 12 Pro Max, uh, Apple was just kind of confused. Let's see if we can focus here. 
let's focus there we go it seems like with the 12 pro max they kind of got confused between rose gold and regular gold and so they kind of gave us something in the middle eh, not not a big fan of that but i did want to stick with the gold color because i kind of like it and i had only ever had black or graphite space gray uh, type colors with the iphone um, so those were the aesthetic differences, which I really don't care about. Most people actually won't even notice the difference. Uh, but uh, another thing that I think it has to be noted with the downgrade to the iPhone uh, 12 Pro Max is the battery. So you can't kill this thing. <laughs> it's very hard. And I told you my use case for the iPhone. Um, I couldn't kill it in a day. Most of the time I got a day and a half. I would charge it at work the next day. Um, I wouldn't even plug it in overnight because it just had too much juice uh, to even justify plugging it in. So um, as where the 12, I haven't been able to test it too much with the 12 Pro Max on battery, but I've heard good things, but I know that it's not as good as the 13 Pro Max. So for what I use it for, the iPhone 12 Pro Max is incredibly fast. And even um, what's on these devices right now is a carbon copy of the other. Um, they are both running the same version of iOS, same app, same everything, even same storage, 128 gigs of base, base model. So, I mean, like I'm a YouTuber, so I watch YouTube and I use the YouTube app. Sometimes even just loading up YouTube, one, two, three, like that, that, that look, that was the iPhone 12 Pro Max someday. And I know I just did that one time, but I've, I've noticed that uh, pretty consistently is that the 12 Pro Max will load certain apps just faster. YouTube and stuff like that. Let's see, I can open up the uh, app store and obviously all the apps are cleared from the cache here. So there's nothing in them, but like, I can open up the app store one, two, three. And look, once again, the 12 Pro Max was loading a bit, a bit faster. Now, obviously the A15 is faster than the 12 Pro Max. Um, so they're going to probably give a software update that's really gonna take advantage of this. Um, but again, that's a software thing. And for what a lot of people will be using their iPhones for, I think Apple's gonna start to run into the problem of iOS is not giving people enough to do with their iPhone to justify um, the upgrade. So with that being said, that's why I downgraded to the iPhone 12 Pro Max from the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I love the cameras on this. I'm not gonna use them all the time. Basically since the inception of my YouTube channel, I've only ever sometimes shot on iPhone. I love iPhone, but you know, I was shooting on Blackmagic and Lumix and Sony uh, from the beginning. So I was never really shooting all the time on this. Uh, this can process, yes, it can process ProRes and it's got the A15 and stuff, but uh, so can the iPad Pro. And I'll either be getting, I don't know. I'm looking at these new MacBook Pros, man. And they look they look really good i have videos on those as well saying which one should you buy and um i think the sweet spot for a lot of people is going to be the base model m1 pro um because the m1 in a lot of ways is already satisfying a lot of consumers even prosumers the m1 pro is just even better than that and that's going to be enough for a lot of people so that may be enough for even me who knows i mean the thing is powerful very powerful I don't think it's worth the upgrade if you have the 12 Pro Max already to the 13 Pro Max. Absolutely do not. And, um, you know, if you got the 11 Pro Max, if you if you shoot on iPhone all the time or if you need 120 hertz, because it's not even like this has OLED and the other ones don't, uh, you know, and even if you're coming from the 12, it's not like this has a 6.7 inch display where the 11 Pro Max only has like a 6.5 inch display. The 12 Pro Max has a 6.7 inch display, just like 13 Pro Max. Um, the only difference is that uh, 120 hertz refresh rate. So, you know, pick your poison. Honestly, I think you're going to be better off going with the 12 and let Apple convince you that you need the new processor, that you need the new camera. Because a lot of people aren't going to notice 4K60 on the 12 Pro Max or 4K60 on the 11 Pro Max versus 4K60 on the 13 Pro Max. They might notice HDR, but only if they have an iPhone with an OLED screen. Most people don't have uh, HDR OLED TVs and stuff like that that are 4K um, as 4K continues to be adopted in American homes and around the world. So anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Be sure to like the video and subscribe, guys, if you liked this just kind of chill conversation here. Um, and keep it locked here. Uh, I'll be trying to get the AirPods 3 soon, so look out for that video this week as well. As we cover your favorite tech and video games, I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Granny Geek Show.